I think one of the great things that came out of the debate tonight, if you didn't watch it, uh, I watched most of it. I, I came in about 45 minutes after it started. Um, is that, hey, I got a wireless headset. What do you think? I can talk to you from here, and you can still hear me. I like this a lot because I don't have to fucking yell. What is that? Uh, one of the great things that came out of it was like, I'm going to put my laundry, I'm throwing some laundry in the bag. Uh, Trump doesn't really have a plan much. He's just kind of like, I think he's just kind of rolling with it, you know, like as an actor. I totally, I totally get it because as an actor, your, your whole career is bullshit. You go in there with no skill, nothing. All you got is your, your fucking personality. And you just trick people into thinking you're awesome. Or you, you know, you, you just use your charm. And uh, then you get the job, which is just an acting job, which is, you know, almost like fantasy. It doesn't really do – well, you could – you know, morale boosts are great for society. So in that sense, being an actor does is does do some good things for society, but not in the way that, like, oh, I built a, a electric rail system that we can all um, – that we can all benefit from. Hold on, my friend's messaging me about Hearthstone wants me to join him for uh, a game so we can book a quest credit. By the way, I'm heavy blizzard right now. World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm, Overwatch. I have Diablo 3 and uh, Starcraft, but my big ones are Hearthstone. Heroes of the Storm and World of Warcraft. I have Overwatch. I haven't really played it. So if you want to add me on Blizzard, uh, on Battle.net, my ID is CrossMac number 1520. And I need to turn this down. So, I, it just... Okay, I went into this thinking, like... I've been so swayed lately. Um, for Bernie Sanders. Hands down, Bernie Sanders is the best was the best potential candidate for this election, no doubt in my mind, you know. Liberate the economy, liberate the globe, free, like good technology. Like if we're gonna be spending $30 trillion a year, we should be spending it on rebuilding the pipes. Like I have copper pipes in my apartment and they rust. So we gotta replace them with graphene, you know, industrial strength graphene. We should be the number one leading graphene producer in the world, the United States. That's the steel of the 21st century. Uh, roads, solar power roads, you know, so he's out of it. I'm like, fuck this. I'm so disenfranchised. I didn't even know what I was going to do or who I was going to vote for. And then I was like, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll vote for Trump. Fuck it. The, the system's so broken that maybe someone crazy is like Teddy Roosevelt. Like, that's what we need to upend it and, and wipe it out and start over. But I don't want to break it. I just want to fix it. And Hillary's pretty stable. You know, she may be, she may have done a lot of criminal activity, but, dude, Barack Obama issued drone bombs all over the place. It's not like that's... If I issued drone bombs with my pet drone that I'm flying around, I'd go to... You know, I'd be executed instantly. It's, But, but you know, military is... I'm not a big fan of war. Uh, anyway, I, I, I just realized Hillary is the the one is the only one to, to vote for. You gotta, she she'll let us revolt and fix the system, and she'll be like, yes, thank you God. I like she's keeping it stable, so that we can fix it. She can't fix it. He can't fix it. We can. I can fix it. You can fix it. We can fix it together. So we need someone in office that's not going to get in our way is basically what it comes down to. And that's Hill, in my opinion, at present. I like Jill Stein a lot, too. But uh, after those debates, I mean, there's no question.